We did our Chemi 361 project on the applications and challenges of nanodiamonds. Nanodiamonds are carbon-based particles measured in nanometers. They have large high energy surface areas which allow them to form strong bonds with a range of different molecules and they also have astonishing absorption properties. Here is a schematic representation of a nanodiamond crystallite which has an sp3 hybrid layer and a radius of about 2 to 3 nanometers. Nanometers were first discovered by Soviet scientists using carbon-based explosives to research nuclear bombs. They discovered that the structure of diamond is accomplished in a high temperature and high pressure setting. In engineering, nanodiamonds exist as additives in engine oils because they have unique mechanical properties. They reduce the friction between moving parts to increase their utility and decrease the wear on mechanical parts. They can also extend the life of engines. Another application is their usefulness for imaging purposes. Nanodiamonds have challenges. One of them is clumping and settling of nanodiamonds that leads to less effective intended use. And nanodiamonds with low defects are harder to see with imaging. The picture on the left shows the contrast image of a single cell and the picture of the right shows green fluorescent nanodiamonds of a single cell with a nucleus stained in blue. In the medical field, nanodiamonds can create bonds with cancer killing drugs. They can penetrate through cell walls without causing any damage and reduce the side effect of chemotherapy by targeting only the designated area of delivery. Here are nanodiamond materials used for drug delivery. They have cancer treatment properties so they can carry a broad range of drug compounds that are non-invasive meaning they can penetrate cell membranes without damaging the cell's function. However, they do have challenges. It is observed that they can cause DNA damage in stem cells. This occurs more with oxidized nanodiamonds more than raw nanodiamonds. And also covalent nanodiamond-based drug delivery systems are complicated to produce and difficult to remove toxins from the synthesis process. There's also challenges with optimizing combinations between nanomedicine and non-nanomedicine. Globally, they can form powders and create highly effective polishes that are useful in various industries around the world. In turn, this would decrease the quantity of base materials needed and increase the lifespan of materials that nanodiamonds are used in, which would overall increase the effectiveness of global production. From an economic standpoint, there has been research to lower the expense of producing nanodiamonds to shape the future of science. Because they are expensive and delicate to process, we are researching least costly ways to mass produce nanodiamonds for applications. So there is potential for these tiny crystalline structures to become limitless in the future. And environmentally, nanodiamonds are safer than other toxic materials because they can also decrease the production of these toxic materials. They are beginning to be used in cancer treatments as less toxic alternatives to delivering cancer killing drugs. So overall, they have a very positive impact on our world. Thank you for watching the applications and challenges of nanodiamonds.